Hello, this is video number eight in the Drive a Double Bass series, which is devoted to the book, Mr. Carr, Would You Teach Me How to Drive a Double Bass? Today's video is about moving short distances. I started with this old French song, which you probably know. It's in Suzuki Book One and in many other books. And it is the first song that involves moving out of a position. And my question is always, how do I know how much to move? How do I know what it means to move a half step backwards or a half step forward? And my answer is very simple. Watch my left hand, see what I do now. I replace fingers, one with the other, on the same note. Make it, it as smooth and as unnoticeable. And when I, when I can do that, if I can now replace the first finger with the second finger and open to a new position here, I have the C sharp in my first finger. I can tell you this is a very important skill, this finger replacement thing, because most bass players, unlike violinists, use more than one instrument. You might have one at home and one at school, one at home and one at the orchestra you're playing, or sometimes you just happen to get to a jam session and you want to play the bass there. And this method teaches you how to get accustomed to any bass really quickly. Because if you know one note, you already know many other notes just using the finger replacement. So let me demonstrate the song for a minute. Placing the finger. I need to get back to the position. I replace again and I play here with fourth finger. I have a D here, so I replace. And I go back to the D with first finger. So this is this technique which is very simple. But it's very useful because this is the technique that enables us to play all the scales and mode which appear in the roadmap, roadmaps chapter in the book. Just for now, I will demonstrate a major scale. I replace the E with the second finger. I replace the first finger with the second finger. Now I open a new position and I have the G sharp in my first finger. My A is here, but I will move and play it. I will replace the second finger with the first finger. And I will play A with the first finger. B is in position. I move back with my second finger to the A and I have the C sharp here in my first finger on the G string. And now the D sharp is where my fourth finger is, but I need it with my second finger. And I'm home base. Very easy. I can do any scale now by just using finger replacements. Last thing I would like to show you is the whole concept, which is in the book, in the roadmaps chapter of knowing one position and two neighbors. If I'm in the block position, I can play chromatically from open A to the high F, every single note chromatically in this block position plus half step below and half step above. 
So it's like A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, and so on and so forth. I have every single note. So this concept of one position and two neighbors is a very important position. And we switch between the position and the neighbors by doing the finger replacement. So here is again, just to end with this very simple um. exercise of finger replacement. Once you know how to do that, it's really easy to get around the bass, because bass playing is either easy or impossible.